how leaders can use generative AI to think better and faster. Every morning at 6 a.m., Madeline, the CEO of Meridian Consumer Brands, sits with her coffee and her thoughts. 18 months ago, her mornings looked very different. Scrolling through dry reports, trying to make sense of shifting markets, supply chain hiccups, and unpredictable consumer moods. Then she stumbled onto something unexpected. Chat GPT. Her first try, let's say it wasn't magical. She asked a vague question about industry trends and got back the kind of generic stuff you would expect from a second year MBA student. It felt useless until she had a realization. The problem wasn't the AI, it was her question. Instead of asking what's happening in the market, she reframed it. Act as a strategic analyst for a $12 billion CPG company struggling in Europe but doing strong in Asia Pacific. Analyze how our top three competitors adjusted their portfolios over the past 18 months of inflation. Boom, everything changed. She wasn't just asking questions anymore. She was layering context, business goals, timelines, and roles. Let's call this contextual prompting. AI mirrors the clarity of your question. If you give it fog, it'll give you fog back, but faster. That's because AI doesn't know the full context. You make many assumptions about your own knowledge. AI makes assumptions also, but those two sets of assumptions may be far apart. So you get generic answers. ChatGPT is not a vending machine. You don't press button A1 and get strategy. You have a conversation. You start with a prompt, but the real magic happens in the back and forth. For Madeline, this became a morning ritual she called AI reconnaissance. Each day, she explored her business from different lenses, regulatory, operational, consumer, and financial, like examining an elephant from different sides. The goal wasn't to replace her team. It was to show up smarter, to the conversation. The enlightened executive knows that they are often a blind man, from the elephant and the six blind men story. But they also know that with good, disciplined touches, they can figure out and share their perspective with their people that it's an elephant. Preparing for a Southeast Asia expansion meeting, Madeline asked the AI to take a viewpoint of a Vietnamese regulator, then a supply chain director, then a consumer in Ho Chi Minh City shopping for personal care products. Each question added a layer, each prompt added dimension. She wasn't just absorbing information, she was building strategic intuition. As I said earlier, general prompts result in general responses. It doesn't know your org chart, your politics, your deadlines, or where the friction might lie. But you do, so you need to lead. Think of ChatGPT like a brilliant junior analyst. It has speed and structure, but no strategic instincts. Ask layered questions. What would reduce onboarding time from 14 days to 3 days? Which of these are process versus technology issues? What capabilities would need to change? This is where the human brain shines. Strategy, nuance, judgment, and intent. Madeline didn't walk into the meetings cold. She came in armed. AI says hedging costs might hit margins by 180 basis points, she told her CFO. But from your perspective, with the Thailand launch, what's your take? She wasn't relying on AI to be right. 
she was using it to pressure test her thinking. As her HR director put it, Madeline now asks better questions, questions that reveal blind spots. You don't want AI to simply provide answers. You want to accelerate your ability to ask smarter questions and get better insights that the company can act on. Madeline used it to scan geopolitical risks, assess consumer shifts, and explore cultural filters in 30 plus countries in less time than her old methods. Instead of three briefings to prep for a marketing decision, she could come up with a baseline and dive deeper. Her manufacturing lead said it best. She doesn't ask me to explain Jakarta basics anymore. She asks how our KPIs compare to other markets. She's done the work. So here's a structured way to interact with AI to have a conversation. Start with intent. What are you trying to shift in your business over the next 6 to 12 months? Give it a role. Ask ChatGPT to act as someone with a specific point of view, like a regional director, customer service rep, or operations lead. Add framing. Include company size, markets, goals, or known constraints. Refine. Don't stop at the first response. Challenge it. Ask it to separate signal from noise. Connect the dots. Use AI to organize, summarize, compare, and visualize. But you make the calls. Validate with your team. Let AI shape the conversation but don't let it define the answer. By now, Madeline has evolved her prompting even further. She mentioned a new technique, Model Context Protocol, a way to let multiple AI agents focus on different aspects of content and merge them into a single coherent whole. While that is often achieved programmatically by connecting different AI agents with different domains of expertise, she was attempting to apply a similar pattern to get deeper insights. Once she identifies a pattern for her questions, she might ask the IT department to program an MCP for her use. Her mornings are still quiet, still caffeinated, but now they are turbocharged with insight. The AI didn't replace her. It made her better at being her, a strategic navigator in a sea of complexity. When used with clarity, curiosity, and context, ChatGPT isn't just a tool, it's a co-pilot. You still hold the map, you still set the course. But now, you have a second brain that helps you see further, think sharper, and act faster. If you're an executive like Madeline, who could use a little bit of coaching or help with today's Gen AI tools, give me a call. We would love to help. If you enjoyed watching this video, please consider subscribing and sign up on my website to get a free visual one-page summary. Thank you.